Hello, rhyming timing friends. Today, we're writing cursive letter G. Uppercase G, lowercase G. Don't be afraid. I'll show you how to do it and you'll do it with me. But first, I have to say hello to some of my rhyming timing friends. Hello, Angelina. Good work taking care of grandma. Hello, Gabe, Gloria, Grayson, Gloria. Congratulations, Mima. Felicidades, Abuela. Well, I want to show you the four names I mentioned. Angelina, Gabe, and Gloria. See? Take a look. Take a look. They all have something in common. They have G's. There's Angelina, Gabe, Gloria, Grayson. These three, uppercase G, and Angelina has the G right in the middle of her name. And look how nice they look. And I want to show you something else about cursive. If you can't read cursive, how could you even read a holiday card? Happy holidays in cursive. So many are in cursive. Take a look at this. See? Merry Christmas in cursive. My note paper has cursive handwriting right on the front. Okay, letter G. Take a look. Letter G starts on the bottom line, and it's a slanted line up, then a loop, and you come up to a point. Come down with a curve across the bottom, and then a boat, just like that B had a boat. Uppercase G is a little tricky at first for people because it doesn't look anything like print G. But look at lowercase g. It looks a lot like print G and it's not as difficult uh, as the uppercase. It's not as difficult for people to read after they know print. Starting on the center line, just like the letter A, just like lowercase a's begins. Starting at the center line, you come around and up, back, down on that same line, but downstairs, 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 all the way down, and a loop. Okay, we're going to do uppercase G together and lowercase G together, and then we're going to write two words. You ready? Get your pen. Here we go. Get your pen. Uppercase G, starting on the bottom line. And it's a little tricky, and I'll go very slowly. Starting off the bottom line. Slanted line up. A loop. Now you come, make a point at the top. Come down nice and big and round. And a boat. We're going to do that again. Slanted line up, a loop, a point, down, and a nice, I used to call that the belly, and a boat. Now lowercase g. Lowercase g, starting on the center line. Come around, make a curved line, and then a slanted line up. Back down on the same line, downstairs, and a tail. Let's do that again. Curve line around, slanted line up, back down on the same line, come downstairs, and a hook and a tail. Oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. I'm sorry. Let's write one word where G is in the center, the word egg, the word egg, because we already learned the letter E. The word egg. S curved line up, a loop, that's the lowercase e, and now come up, stop, come back around, slanted line up, come downstairs, a loop. Ready? Now the tail of the G becomes the other G. Back down, slanted line up, and a hook. Egg. 
I want to write the word gab, G-A-B, starting on the center line. Come across, curved line, slanted line up, back down, forward loop. Now the tail of the G becomes the top of the A. A, back down on the same line, up, back down on the same line. B, remember, it's a backwards loop. A hook and a shell. Gab. How can I make this word gab my friend's name, Gabe? How can I make this A a long A sound instead of gab, a short A sound? Gab means to talk. Gabe is someone's name. So how can I make this A an A sound with a silent E at the end? And that's the name Gabe. Starting at the bottom line. Slanted line up. A loop. A point. Then a nice curved belly of the G. Come across with that bow. Now that's going to be the top of the A. Back down on the same line. Curve line up. Back down on the same line. Now we're going to do the B. A backwards loop. A hook. Now watch the E. It's going to be part of the shelf. E. Gabe. Okay. That was rhyming timing today. E. Uh, un mensaje para Gloria. Gloria, por favor, enseña su nieta a hablar español. Por favor. Gracias y adiós. Goodbye, everybody.